Ayo! What was I doing again? I need to find the underground cat fighting ring, don't I? Is this how we're gonna meet up Kiryu? Is this how we're gonna do it? I don't actually remember what I'm doing, to be honest. Oh yeah, right, I'm getting the big guy. I forgot. <laughs> the uh, secret Chinese hospital operating behind a mahjong parlor, and I don't even have to go behind it or into the basement or anything, because he's literally a mahjong parlor. All right, cool. You weren't hard to find, Lee. Hardly. Anyways, whatever. Drop the scowl, friend! <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. It was a distinct possibility. I ain't your average acupuncturist. Well, yeah, okay. What about it, friend? Oh, hold up, you didn't think I'd let that one slide, did you? I've been waiting for that East tile. Ah, Mahjong. You're killing me. Oh, am I gonna have to? Uh, am I gonna have to fight him in mahjong? Uh, great. Well, good thing I definitely know the rules of mahjong. I don't. I don't at all know the real rules of mahjong. He does seem pretty fine for a guy with holes in him. Can't move your arm. Well. No, I, th I think I'll keep my uh, fully functional body. <laughs> you know, you have a point there. She is, in fact, alive. Uh, and you're probably right that I have never killed before. A good line to have, to be honest, but hey. Anybody else feel terrified at the idea that if you were to kill someone for any reason, especially a justified one, you might get a taste for it? You know, maybe that's just the terrible person within me somewhere. But I'm terrified that if I ever got to whack a guy, I might like it. I don't want to like it. I don't even want to have to kill a man. But I certainly don't want to enjoy it if I do have to. Anyways, how about all that? What a conundrum. Yeah, I don't want to get whacked. Just trying not to be the next name on his boss's list, huh? I still ain't decided not to kill her. <laughs> sure, you haven't, pal. That's why you're here, instead of, you know. Anyways. Take the Yakuza that put air holes in that body of yours. They're also after her, yeah? They're gonna steal my pay. I wanna know why. But I can't ask my employer, because, you know, that would just be, uh, unprofessional. Almost as unprofessional as not carrying out the job to begin with. Oh, it's a doctor. <laughs> Am I gonna have to? I'm gonna have to beat up a bunch of guys. <laughs> I don't think it'll even take long. What? We're not done talking here, Lee. Come on. You're gonna fight me anyways? I mean, I've got a nice bat. Oh. Great. That's. Uh, well, um, so much for diplomacy. Hey, I get to do something interesting in this episode. Don't bother holding back, dude. I have a baseball bat. What, they straight up have, like, a scimitar. Alright, we're going for the guy with the scimitar first. Oh, there's, like, three of them. Oh, my feelings. God, they're pretty skilled with those things. Nice try, pal. Boink. Okay, he got me.
Boink. Got him. And there we go. Just hit him a couple times with the baseball bat. Typically works. This is my favorite freaking style, honestly. I ought to sink plenty of cash into this, because I don't think I've paid a lot into uh, Goro's development. Majima's nah. development, I guess. I guess you're more than a lousy Hitman. Uh, I feel like Hitman is above a lot of other things in terms of the ability to break a man in half, you know. Uh, what are you saying? This ain't got nothing to do with some bat tattooed guy. She didn't tell me nothing. She said to come after you. Oh, well. She's only blind because of that guy. Oh, jeez. Did she... Oh, no. Did she... Was she really into soccer as a kid? And then she had an abusive older brother that, that was like the pride of the family. And then um, and one day they came back and uh, the older brother sprayed spray paint in, in, in her eyes or something, blinding her, right? And... Uh, and the family just tried to act like it didn't happen, and then some repressed trauma led to her just completely forgetting about the event until some other event happened that made her remember it, and then bring it back up to her parents that felt immensely guilty for acting like the entire event didn't happen to begin with. In case you've never read Tangerine, I've basically given the late game synopsis of Tangerine and I just completely overwrote any of the actual lore, which was likely worse. <laughs> I... Okay, it was human trafficking. Korean Mafia? Oof. We're getting, uh, um, well... I'm sure people would be mad at me if I said we're getting all of the, uh, the Asian, uh, ethnicities involved, but, no. We're not, they're still, like, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, Indonesia. Uh, I suppose... Uh, certain portions of uh, India, maybe, are the Indian subcontinent, but those are typically regarded differently. Uh, you know, parts of Russia, but those are also regarded differently. I could use a very specifically descriptive word, um, but apparently people don't like... It is a bat, like the, the animal. Okay, that, that does make sense. As opposed to a bat like the big old club that I swing around and cave skulls in with. Um, yeah. She just wants to stop the same thing from happening again to anybody else. And that's why she, uh... Oh, boy. Uh, well... I guess you don't have the problem that I do, then, Lee. Huh? There's your answer, huh? The bat piece of crap he goes off picking off innocent girls or he probably does it all by himself uh, well wouldn't it be funny if it was uh, if it was uh, uh, I was about to call him Tomodachi Tachibana it was Tomodachi Tomodachi real estate Tomodachi life uh, she's inside the Haru building Warehouse called, uh, okay, in a warehouse. Let him just get her back. No. Uh, I feel like I'm a dead man anyways. You're still walking around. Well, yeah. It ain't impossible to get away. Really now? What should I do? Join a real estate company? Oh? What might that be? What, do we get protection or something? Um, we gotta work together. God, that is a big, a high cost. I don't want to do that. Sheesh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, great. Well, okay, I guess... You're prepared to do anything? Just how serious are you, huh? <laughs> I am, in fact, dead otherwise, so... Yeah, I guess I'm in. 
I didn't get to make that choice anyways. Visual novel moment. Uh, there are a lot of wrong directions I can go with in titling this video. Uh, I'm thinking about the basically the one thing I've done so far. And I don't know how much else I'm going to do. And I figure saying, like, beating up a bunch of Chinese guys is maybe not the... Maybe not the, the great episode I might originally think. <laughs> it's descriptive. It is descriptive. It is what I've done. But I get the feeling it might not go over too well. Uh, what do you mean, what's my name? Majima Goro Majima. Majima Goro this. Majima Goro Tor Majimas. Uh... Well, he's sure a piece of work. Guess I'll go check on the girl again. And hopefully I run into fellas that I have to beat the crap out of on the way there. I would love nothing more. Nothing. Nothing at all. Now that I am no longer a man in love because of events that I'm not going to mention. Uh... Okay, well, now that I've mentioned it, I guess I should just be real. So... I believe I've talked before about um, being madly in love with a girl I knew in high school, right? Um, so, I also believe I've talked before about the whole deal um, where we basically individually came to the... Well, not even individually. She came to the conclusion she don't like me no more, right? Um, then she came to the conclusion... Oh, cool, they just gave me stuff. Very nice, thanks pal. Um, came to the conclusion about a week ago that she don't want to talk to me no more either, so, uh, uh, I have been officially ghosted by a woman I originally considered to be the love of my life. Isn't that wonderful? Um, but hey, I've honestly been taking it real well. I don't know if I even really care anymore. Bikers. It's, it's always a different group of people. What other stances do I even have in this in, in this mode? Boink. Hey, pal. Got him. Hey, pal. Hey, take that. There we go. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I'm officially, like, fully back in the dating game, I guess. It's a real game. Nobody likes me. <laughs> but that's perfectly fine. I'll figure that crap out eventually. She really didn't move an inch. Jeez. She's been there the whole time. Boy. You stay put in here? I'm pretty sure she stayed put in there. <laughs> uh, that guy was doing too well. He's he's six some goons on me. Come on. Which I could have said slightly differently to much different effect. I'm not going to explain. Yes, in fact, I did. I'd love to help you ice the guy, except that, as you can see, I'm not very good at icing people. So, uh, you know... You sure had it rough. Guess things ain't much better for you. You're stuck in a dusty old warehouse with a hitman, but, uh, at least you ain't dead, huh? Uh, mm. I don't think Batman's the one coming after you, though. Very nice. I appreciate that the bat... I don't have to fight the bat, you know? That would be a difficult battle. Bat bull. You think when... Whatever. You alright, girly? Why are these fellas coming after you anyways, huh? Got any idea? I went through some similar stuff. Losing eyes and all that. I'm, uh... I was similarly blinded. Uh, we do have similar stories. And of course, people have wanted me for my body as well. 
I'm assuming that's what the story was. Um, I don't actually remember, but you know. Uh, I do have one good eye. Pretty good stuff, too. It sure does work. Yeah, and it's the right one, too. I'm assuming that Majima is uh, right eye dominant, of course, when I say that, so who knows? Maybe it's not good. I don't know. Anyways, we really didn't do much here now. Uh, we, this is a lore episode, and I was talking my fool head off over most of it. But hey, that's perfectly fine. Um, I gotta get myself some actual friends that I can confide in so that I don't just say things online. You know. I mean, it's not like people I talk about watch this. Or pretty much anything that I make. But, uh, you know. Eventually I'm gonna say something I maybe should. <laughs> Which, I mean, I might, I might, I still, it's possible that I'm wrong. How about just outright being ghosted, but I doubt it. And, you know, it's just kind of, it's it's more disappointing than anything else when I think about it. Because it's, uh, it's indicative of me just entirely misreading a person. Because, like, my entire relationship with her, not even the more intimate portions, were based on the idea that I could trust her to actually be a real person with me, you know, to actually talk to me about things. Um, and if, like, she was upset with me or anything like that, so it's a little bit disappointing that that didn't happen. And I'm just immediately cut off without even, like, a, I don't think we should talk anymore kind of thing, which maybe would have been similar in effect to, like, in terms of like upsetting me, but uh, again, you can just hear how upset I am right now. Now let's beat up some more bikers. Hey pals, how's it going? Have you tasted enough steel for one day? Got him. Got him. Hey, pal, hold this. Anyways, yeah. Good times, good times. This game's so violent. I feel like I want to cave in skulls with a big metal bat now. And that's not good. Anyways. What are you looking at? On the next episode, we're going to buy some takoyaki. Till then, like, comment, and subscribe. Or I am going to cave in your skull with a metal bat. <laughs> Uh, goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.